morning, students. Have a nice day. Good morning, sir. Now open your science notebook and show me your yesterday's homework. Okay, sure, sir. And who has not done their homework? Sir, have not done my homework. I forgot to do my homework. Sorry, sir. I will show you my homework tomorrow. No, it's your regular dialogue, but this time I will not listen to you. I will give you a punishment so that you will never forgot to do your homework on time. No, sorry, no, sir. Please, please. Will you come here, or should I? Now you will never forget to do your homework. Okay, sir. I will always do my homework on time and submit it on time. Is done. It's your last time. Okay, sir. Now go and sit on your place. So, students, open your science textbook. I will teach you a new lesson. Open page number forty-nine of biology textbook and Natasha read Newton's first law. Okay, sure, sir. I will read Newton's first law of motion. An object in motion will remain always in motion until an external force is applied on it. it is called as inertia. Good, Natasha. Keep it up. So, students, today is homework is to write. Newton's first law of motion in your homework book. Tomorrow I will ask you, so you have to by heart it. Okay, sir. Next day. Good morning, students. Have a nice day. Good morning, sir. Have a nice day. Oh, where is Natasha? Her mother is in hospital. From day before yesterday, but today she is in a serious condition today. Okay, I should not behave with her like this. Well, after school, I should go to her home and talk with her and help her. Well, anyways, have you all done your homework? Well, I think everyone would have done their homework, as it was very simple. Okay, now Sally, you tell me Newton's first law of motion. Okay, sure, sir. An object in motion will always remain in motion until an external force is applied to it. Is called Newton's first law of motion. Okay, good, Sally. Keep it up, and students. Today's homework is to write Newton's second law of motion, and by heart it. Okay, sure, sir. Ah, hey, Sally, how are you? Okay, hey, sir, nice to meet you. By the way, I want to ask you, where does Natasha live? She lives in the next lane, and her flat number is four hundred and twelve on second floor. Okay, thanks, Sally. Hello, sir. My name is Kater, Professor Kater. Oh, nice to meet you, Professor. I am Samir, Natasha's brother. Oh, nice to meet you, Samir. I am Natasha's professor. Oh, by the way, how is your mother's condition? Is she well? Her condition is critical. She is in ICU. Sorry to hear that, but where is Natasha? She is in hospital. Okay, nice to meet you, Mr. Samir. But in which hospital is she? She is in City Hospital, bed number one hundred and two. Okay, thanks, Samir. I have to go. See you. Nice to meet you, Professor. Hey, hi, Natasha. How are you? I am fine. How are you, sir? I am sorry. I should not behave with you like this that day. I am sorry. Please forgive me. That's okay, sir. How is your mother? Is her condition fine? She is fine, sir. I am quitting my school. I will never come to school. Why, my dear? My mother had blood clot in her brain, and we have to do an operation. For that operation, we need to arrange thirty-five thousand dollars in two week. Oh, come on! Do not worry, my friend is in trustee. He will arrange you all the money needed for your mother's operation. You not have to quit your studies for that. Thanks, sir, for your mercy. But you have to do all your studies, and you have to do all your homework, and submit it on time. Professor calls his friend and arrange all things needed for her operation, and her operation completed successfully. And Natasha started her study sincerely and started doing her homework and all thing on time, and proved that she is a brilliant girl. And became inspiration for all student of her school.